Celadon to file bankruptcy. Find out this breaking news right after this. Welcome to Pair Rider TV. Yes, I have some breaking news this morning from Transportation Nation Network. They are breaking the news on Celadon filing bankruptcy and expected to cease operations. Crazy stuff. I seen an article this morning on Twitter from Transportation Nation Network and I thought I'd share it. And hopefully we're not going to have another aero trucking situation on our hands. And well, let's go over the article from Transportation Nation Network. Number one, go to Trucking News Source. Yeah. Hold on, let me have a little sip of coffee. It's so early yet. I didn't even put my boots on to go trucking. But I get this article out here. Right, one of the largest publicly traded transportation companies in the United States, Celadon Group, is expected to file bankruptcy as soon as Sunday, December 8th. That will be tomorrow. Sources with direct knowledge of the situation told Transportation Nation Network on Friday evening that the troubled Indianapolis, Indiana-based carrier will cease operations beginning Monday, December 9th. Wow. Not a lot of notice there. Sodom began notifying customers on Thursday, December 5th. The company will soon be filing bankrupt bankruptcy and no longer be servicing accounts. Transportation Nation Network has confirmed this with multiple large Celadon customers as their as these customers are currently scrambling to secure needed capacity. Wow. A lot of freight's gonna be left sitting around out there, apparently. A source with direct knowledge told Transportation Nation Network top Celadon executives are scheduled to meet Sunday afternoon to finalize the bankruptcy filing, which is expected to be official that evening as close to midnight as possible. Though sources indicate the company may file for protection under Chapter 11, it's expected the company will ultimately liquidate its assets. While some Celadon executives have been told of the company's impending demise, most employees have not yet been notified Nah, that's crazy right there. The company's more than 3,000 employees will likely be notified on Monday, multiple sources said. According to data from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, the trucking giant operates more than 2,700 power units and employs more than 2,500 drivers. Let's hope those 2,500 drivers don't get stranded out on the road. However, a source tells Transportation Nation Network the latest driver count is approximately 1,800. Still, 1,800 is a uh, cool. Fuel cards are currently fuel cards are currently operational but it is unclear when the cars will be deactivated or how many drivers will be left stranded. I hope not. I hope not. Remember Arrow when they shut down a bunch of years back? No notice, nothing. That's a lot of drivers stranded. No fuel, no money to get food, no money to get home. It, 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 it was a mess. Right, they go on and talk about uh, their areas, their terminals, headquarters, and all that stuff. But we have to go back to turbulent times. Another part of the article here talks about uh, April this year, Celadon announced they had reached a settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission relating to their highly publicized investigations to the company's 
filing their fraudulent financial statements dating back to fiscal year 2016. They were already in some hot water. Celadon agreed to pay restitution in the amount of, whoa, is that $542 million? Two hundred forty-five thousand three hundred two. Wow! When they were already some hot water. Additionally, as part of the settlement, Celadon agreed to continue the imp implementation of a compliance and ethics program designed to prevent and debtor violations of anti-fraud reporting. We were sued by the DOJ for all the false reporting and all that, the stocks and all that stuff long paragraph there I'll put a link to this article in the description so y'all can read the full article I'm just kind of trying to get the main parts let's see also in April this year Celadon sold off two of, two of its subsidiaries a &S Canard and Buckler Transport for reported 1.139.5 million Sundown also divested its logistic business division and assets associated with its intermodal business. In July, Celadon announced the company has secured $165 million in long term financing. Wow, that's crazy, man. Crazy. Some more stuff. Celadon began taking delivery of new tractors in August 2019, but soon began attempting to negotiate more favorable terms. As an example, a source said the company took delivery of 150 late model freight liners, but those trucks sat idle until approximately a month later when they were repossessed. Wow. 150. Crazy stuff. That's my alarm going off. Let me get back to this article. 150 trucks just sat out of me and I'm getting repossessed. That's crazy. Transport, see, transport Enterprise Leasing, which provided company trucks as well as trucks for Celadon's lease purchase program, also repossessed approximately 250 tractors. Man. Another former Celadon executive told Transportation Nation Network the company was losing approximately 53, wait a minute, not 53 million, 3 million per week in recent months. Still, 3 million a week, that's a lot of money. Wow, that's crazy. As cash on hand vanished, Celadon executives worked to continue to secure financing. So apparently they were just trying to, uh, borrow herself out of a deep, deep hole, and that's not good right there. That is crazy stuff. Insiders blame Meek and aggressive freight pricing. One Celadon insider attributed the company's ultimate failure to management's strategic decision to undercut its competitors' freight rates with the hope, yeah, with the hope to make up reduced margins with increase. So they're out slicing cutting prices, trying to catch up. Get some cash flow going, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a trucking business guy, but that's what it sounds like to me. So Don's history is found in 1985. First hard car parts from the United States to Mexico. Under Russell's leadership, it was founded by Steve Russell. Under Le Russell's, Russell's leadership, Celadon grew to one of the top 10 largest companies, trucking companies in the country. I see Russell passed away April 15, 2016. I guess then everything started going downhill after that. Celadon's bankruptcy will be the largest truckload carrier failure in history. The carrier was honored with many awards during this more than 30 years. In 2014, Celadon was recognized by Forbes as 66 on the list of America's best small companies. This company was also a fixture on the Transport, Transport Topics Top 100 
for hire carrier list. In 2018, Celadon came in at 38 on the list. All right, be sure to go check out the article. I'll put the link, like I said, in the description. Maybe I'll pin a comment. I'm, I'm not sure yet where I'm going to put it, but um, be sure to check out the article. Read the full article. Be sure to follow Transportation Nation Network on all the social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Good news. They always uh, get the breaking news, and they're good, reliable source. So let me know down in the comment section if you drive for Celadon, if you heard anything yet, or if you're gonna, what's gonna happen, and let me know your thoughts on Celadon filing bankruptcy and possibly seizing operations. So any updates, be sure you go check out Transportation Nation Network. I'm sure they're beyond the story, all the details, updates, and all that other stuff. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. That would be notified anytime I upload a video. So everybody have a good day. Stay safe.